Hello there, MHS. I'm Nico Jukic, and I will be your host for today's Friday show. It is hard to believe that prom is only two weeks away, and we all know that means tickets will start being sold next week. Of course, everyone knows you get to vote for a prom king and queen when you purchase your ticket. So let's start this edition off with some important prom info along with the revealing of the 2018 prom king and queen candidates. Hi, this is Ms. Stallings and I'm here to give you information about this year's prom. There will be two time periods that you can purchase your tickets. The first is for early release and student athletes only. You can come by my room, D107, in the morning on Tuesday, April 24th, or Wednesday, April 25th, from 7 to 7.25 a.m. The second is after school in front of the main building media center. It is cash only and nothing over a $20 bill will be accepted to purchase your ticket. Everyone must purchase their own unless your date is a sophomore, from another school, or is out of school. Everyone must have an ID, school, or license in order to purchase their ticket. If your last name starts with A through F, your data by tickets is Monday, April 23rd. If your last name starts with G through N, your data by tickets is on Tuesday, April 24th. If your last name starts with O through V, your data by tickets is on Wednesday, April 25th. Finally, if your last name starts with W through Z or you are absent on your ticket day, your data by tickets is Thursday, April 26th. There is a final opportunity to buy tickets on Monday, April 30th during both lunch periods in front of the main media center, but there will be an additional late fee on the ticket. Finally, your 2018 prom court nominees for the females are Amaya Butler, Cheyenne Figueroa, Peyton McHenry, and Kaya Walker. Your male nominees are Dakari Alford, Josh Benton, Marco Hernandez, and Jaden Lewis. Congratulations and enjoy your time at prom. This April weather has put a damper on many of the spring sports events, but the new girls tennis coach has been serving up great coaching advice as the team looks to ace their competition. As the girls season is in full swing, they have been working hard on their game with a brand new head coach. Well, we need to work on everything. The basic fundamentals of the game is, is primarily what we're working on. Uh, learning how to actually play tennis as opposed to hitting tennis balls uh, is another thing. And we want to get them in a positive frame of mind. That hasn't happened in the past, but we're working on that and we seem to be doing pretty good at it. Our new coach is, he's really serious about tennis. Tennis is his life. So he wants us to do great. We've already done better. Our record right now is better than it was last year. So obviously there was some improvement and he encourages us all the time. So I know for a fact that we're gonna go far with him. Um, I think he was like a blessing to the team. And so now like I actually enjoy playing again because of him. Um, he always has a lot more drills for us and he's a lot stricter, so he's a lot better. Um, I think he's been a better coach to us. He uh, has taught us a lot of more technique. He focuses on us individually instead of as a whole, which I think has improved a lot of our game. Um, yeah, he's just improved on all of us a lot. Um, with Coach Lonnie as our coach, um, I feel that we will succeed greatly and we will have a great season. And under his leadership, we will be very successful. With new techniques in place, the girls enter the season with fresh expectations and improvement under the new head coach. Um, this year, I feel that the tennis team has got a really good chance of going farther, definitely farther than we went last year. Um, the, we have a lot of like really good 
new players like the freshmen, they're all really good. Um, the seniors, we've all been working and putting in work to get better. So I think that we have a really good team this year. Okay, I feel like the tennis team is a lot better this year than it will be last year. Um, we've been practicing a lot more this year than we have last year and we're doing a lot more drills. And we've already won one match this year and that's more than last year, so. <laughs> I think that we're gonna do a lot better than we've done in the last couple years. Obviously, we already have. Um, I think we're gonna set a good example, like as seniors for the underclassmen, um, show them you know how it's supposed to go and just basically be a good example for the next couple of years. We're very disciplined this year and I think we're gonna have a good season because we have a very strict structure coach. Coach Wooden has been working well with the girls over time and expects big things while still feeling optimistic. Uh, I feel great. I'm very optimistic. I know that a coach can make a difference in the team, uh, especially the girls team we are in season with now. We are concentrating on motivation and getting them to believe that they can be good tennis players. So far we are one and one. I'll take that anytime. Uh, we always, the goal is always to be a champion. Uh, we'll start off with uh, making sure that we are able to compete this year, representing the school and the team and the whole community as best as we can. But we're going, we're looking forward to being champions. Within the next two to three years, we have a young team. Within the next two or three years, I think we'll be able to compete against anybody within the conference. Since tennis is a spring sport, sometimes the weather can play a factor in the girls' game. Girls' tennis season weather is always like super duper bipolar, especially considering we live in Indiana and we can have all four seasons in one day. So, I mean, we gotta do what we gotta do. They canceled the match yesterday, so we might have a lot of canceled matches and just reschedule them. Um, it won't perfect our. Uh, it won't affect our performance. Uh, just a lot of matches are gonna get canceled and rescheduled. No, I don't think so because if it's snowing or raining, we're either working out or we're going over strategies and techniques. So it's more than playing on the court in this game. You have, it's a mental game too. So um, The weather, it plays a major part because it has to be decent weather for us to come out here and play. And with it being snowing and raining, we can only do so much in the field house and we can only run so much in the side back. So we need to be out here actually hitting balls and getting the full experience. As the girls' season continues, we wish them best of luck for the remainder of the year. Signing off from PNN, I'm Nico Jukic. Have you ever had that kind of day where you get home and just aren't sure what you want for dinner? If you struggle with that thought, maybe this next segment can help you make a decision. Girl, I'm hungry. Girl, me too. What are we gonna eat? I, I was, was thinking, thinking spaghetti. Taco. No, um, spaghetti. No, spaghetti. Taco. We're gonna have spaghetti. Tacos. Or we can make spaghetti tacos. Like my colleague? Yeah! Girl, okay. Okay, first we're gonna start by putting water in the pot so we can boil it. Then you're gonna put your pot on medium to high temperature. Not too high, you know, just in the middle, you see. And now you're going to take your noodles out the box, fresh out the box. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to break it. Pop, lock, drop. Look at that. Now it's going to boil you for about a good 10 minutes. Then you can pull your noodles to strain it into a strainer. Then you're going to wash your noodles out, right, with some cold water. Now you got to take your sauce, and we're going to put it in the pot with the noodles. And you're gonna mix it all around so it's all good and juicy. Now you gotta scrape all the sauce out first, and then you gotta make sure it's all juicy and get all your sauce mixed together. Mm hmm. We might wanna get a bigger pot because ours is too little. Now you're gonna take oregano and your garlic salt, and you go. We're <laughs> gonna sprinkle this to season our noodles because you don't want it to be all plain Jane. So. Then you're going to mix that all around, get all the seasoning mixed up, right? Not too much, though. Just dash it. Mix it all around. Good job, Juby. Look at you. <laughs> then you're going to take your Italian sausage. You're going to put that 
you're gonna split that in half because you don't want to use it all you know so we're gonna roll that out put it in the skillet she's gonna press down just a little bit you know ugh, you know it gets stuck a little bit and then we're gonna let it cook just a little bit and then we're gonna start stirring it up and piecing it apart so it can become some sausages like meatballs so now we're gonna put it into our noodles and yeah if you like spaghettios you know what this is you know the beefaroni boy what do you call it beefaroni boyardi so we're gonna mix that all around mix that all bring it around town good job look at juby then you go take your taco shell and put your spaghetti into your taco shell just right you know you want a real pack because you don't want a dry shell so and there goes your spaghetti taco Ooh. yes now let's taste these and make sure it's real good <laughs> Told you we should have just had spaghetti. <laughs> I told you we should have just had tacos. <laughs> It's bang bang. Mm. Well, it's almost gone now. Mm. Last fight. Hey, Josh, go take it. Now we're gonna bring Juby Dad up in here so he could taste these. Juby's dad did particularly like the tacos, but me and Juby gonna finish it. This is good, y'all need to try this. <laughs> I'll give it a... <laughs> eight out of 10. <laughs> I'll give it an eight. I'll give it a 7.9. <laughs> And there go y'all dinner for this evening. Now y'all can have y'all some spaghetti tacos this weekend. Signing off for PNN is Germani Keys and Julie Tops. Right before spring break, the seniors took on the MHS staff in the annual senior faculty basketball game. And spoiler alert, the seniors lost again. Here are some of the highlights as the teachers dominated again. The long awaited one has finally come. Excitement and intensity is extremely high in the Inglehart Gymnasium. Tensions rise as we await the tip-off. Both teachers and students have their own way of entering the gym and getting the crowd going. Some, like Mr. Hofer, came in representing something, while others brought excitement through dance.
At the start of the game, Antoine Johnson throws a clutch assist to Ryan Atkins, starting the game off 3-0. The students jumped out to quick lead with some clutch scoring on the inside. However, the teachers quickly turned the game around. I feel like we're a little bit rushed, but we're going to get back, bro. Like, we're just a little rushed. We need to get the ball moving a little bit more. I was even accountable to that, so we just need to get the ball moving a little bit more. I think we'll be good. It's hard, but like, the teacher's playing a little bit dirty. Kenny tried to give me a little cheap shot. First time getting in. Come on, boy. Stay, stay becoming on the, hey, stay on the bench and let me do me, all right? All right, so, really, they're not that good at all. I mean, we down right now, but we come back, it's nothing. We losing our man, but like, we need to stay with our man and we be cool. Let me step in there, so, there's a lot going on right now, you what feel me? A very what heated we situation. We need to win, that's what we need to win. The multiple turnovers and bad shots led the students to their downfall. Thanks to Mr. Richardson's smart plays, the teachers made easy rotations, leading them to easy baskets. Unfortunately, the students were not on their A game. They were missing some of the easiest shots. So far, the game is going good, as you can see. I'm short of breath. You know, we, we had Coach B, Mr. Hofer, Coach Pritt. We're doing our job out here. Hopefully, we can secure the win. and. You know, take it home with a victory. Mr. Patton was out on the court setting the bar high. He came out as the MVP of the game with 21 points. Uh, all the credit goes to my teammates. And then the great announcer, Mr. Nixich. I mean, he got me hyped. He played the Soldier Boy anthem, and that's all I needed. Well, you know, being a coach, we get it all year. Guys think they're better than us, or we're old, and things like that. But Jake's a point guard, I'm a point guard. When you got two guys with high basketball IQ, like it's really hard to guard. The sharp shooting skills of Coach Patton really impacted the teachers on their win. Uh, it's kind of different. Uh, I don't play basketball nearly as much, but um, I love the competitive nature. Uh, I like playing the whole game, and it's fun to be out here. Go Miraville! Despite the score, students found ways of making the game exciting. The different classes had their own fan sections full of dances and cheers. Even the teachers were out there dancing and screaming. As expected, the seniors were defeated by the teachers. The teachers' more than a decade-long winning streak continues. Maybe next year, the class of 2019 can finally pull off a win. Sign up for b and I'm Michaela Lemons. In what has been four years in the making, through constant campaigning and begging for votes, the time has finally come to reveal the Senior Choice Award winners. Next week, so tune in to next week's Friday show to see, calm down, just kidding, we are ready to now reveal this year's winners of the Class of 2018 Senior Choice Awards.
Falling too fast to prepare for this Tripping in the world could be dangerous Everybody circling as vultures Negative, nepotist Everybody waiting for the fall of man Everybody praying for the end of times Everybody hoping they could be the one I was born to run, I was born for this Whip, whip, run me like a race horse Pull me like a rip cord Break me down and build me up I wanna be the slip, slip Word upon your lip, lip Rather that you rip, rip Break me down and build me up Whatever it takes Congratulations to all the senior winners in the class of 2019. You are now on the clock to start campaigning. Thanks for joining us today and tune in next week for a brand new edition of the Friday Show. Signing off from PNN, I'm Nico Jukic. Have a great weekend, MHS. I can get it this time. I got it. I was right there. Oh my gosh. It was right there. I should have just kept going. I should have just kept going. Oh my god. <sighs> Congratulations to all the senior winners and to the class of 2019. You are now on the now on the clock. I should have just kept going. Once again, I hate this. Ready? Five, four, three, two. Congratulations to all the senior winners and to the class of. Congratulations to all the senior winners and to the class of 2019. You are now on the clock to start camp.
tune in to okay and tune in next week tune in next week let's go